Today I'm going to be discussing my number one comment and question that I get across the board. If this interests you, stick around. Hi and welcome back to The Wholeness Shift. My name is Veronica and if this is your first time here, welcome. It's nice to meet you. I teach people about easy, practical spirituality and intentional living, the law of attraction and alien and spirit guides and all of those things. So if this is something that interests you, hit the subscribe button below because I wouldn't want you to miss out on anything good. So as I said, today we're going to be talking about my number one question or comment that I get and I get it multiple times a day, every single day. And I've addressed this in countless videos, and I've addressed it in the comments. I've pinned the comments to the top, and still, I get it. So I'm just going to make a video with this information, and hopefully this will help a lot of you. So the question is some variation or form of what do you do if you ha are dealing with tricksters when using your pendulum, and how do you get rid of them? Have you had this question? Have you asked me this question? Can you already guess what I'm gonna say? <laughs> if you've been here any length of time, I guarantee you know one of the things that I'm going to say. But let's get into it. So for those of you who aren't familiar with what I'm talking about, I'm talking about and referring to using a pendulum to communicate with your spirit guides, to spell out answers, um, to ask questions of your guides. What do you do when it's not your guide communicating to you through this and it's a trickster? So what is a trickster? A trickster is a low vibrating entity. Some could refer to it as a demon. I mean, that's certainly one. They can be like earthbound ghosts, things like that. Things that are just mischievous and low vibrating and they're sole purpose in talking to you is to create chaos and confusion in your life. They're just messing with you. They get so much joy out of messing with you. It's so much fun to them. And so when they see you're using this pendulum and if they're able to, they're going to get on here and mess with you. It's like a 18 year old kid walking down the street and seeing a Porsche sitting there running with the keys in it and there's nobody around. Well, if he's naughty, it, he's going to jump in and take it for a joy ride. That's so much fun. So if they come along and they see this pendulum here and they have the ability to jump on, you better believe they're going to jump on and they're going to cause a little chaos. They're going to go for a little joy ride. So if that happens to you, what do you do about it? Why is it happening and what do you do about it? First of all, law of attraction. Law of attraction states that you receive what you are, you repel what you are not. Okay? So if you are flying high, your vibes are soaring sky high, you've been meditating every day, you are you've done your shadow work or gone to therapy, you've messed, you've dealt with all your baggage and all the stuff weighing you down, you are just in a really, really good place. You feel good, you act good, your vibes are high. Okay? Chances are you're not going to get any tricksters. They're not going to be able to mess with you because of law of attraction. They are low vibrating, you are high vibrating, they don't eat you don't even show up on their radar and like even if they get a glimpse of you your vibes don't feel good to them you feel gross to them because you don't match them so if you are having the problem of tricksters hijacking your pendulum or messing with you or giving you nasty messages that tells me you need to raise your vibrations Get them up. You have to do the work. And as I've said in other videos, this isn't necessarily something that's going to happen in one afternoon. <laughs> I'll get messages like, well, I smudged myself 
and I meditated once. I mean, you, then I got on and it still happened. Look, this can be a process that can take weeks, months, or years, depending on how low your vibes are. Okay? So this isn't something that's going to happen in an afternoon. This is a lifestyle, a pattern of behavior. This is, this is a lifestyle that you develop and you live by every single day. You avoid music and movies and people that lower your vibes or drain your energy or are always negative, just negative Nancys. You avoid complaining and gossiping and all those nasty things that lower your vibes. You meditate and you tap into your higher self, into your spirit, and you allow your soul to take the front seat, the driver's seat. You get enough sleep. You're staying hydrated. I have a whole video on ways to raise your vibrations, so I will link to that below. I also have an entire series on energy that talks about all of this stuff from A to Z. So if that interests you, I'll link to that below. And then I also have an entire series on using the pendulum, questions about the pendulum, and answers about your questions about the pendulum. And I will link to that below as well. Spend an hour or two going through some of these videos that you haven't seen before, or even if you have, get a refresher, and they will answer all of the questions that you need to know. So we've talked about why you would be getting these tricksters coming through and we would be we talked about what you can do to get rid of them raise your vibes um the other part of that question that usually comes up is well in your one pendulum video you said to smudge and say the protection prayer i did that and it didn't work that's only part of it in that video i also talk about needing to have your vibrations super high in another video, I reference this analogy, but it's really good, so I'm going to repeat it here, okay? I talk about how imagine that you spent the whole morning cleaning your bathroom. You bleached everything. Your tub is sparkling clean. That would be like smudging your environment, saying the protection prayer, right? Everything in that environment is clean and cleansed. Then your kid comes in from outside when it's been raining and he had been playing in the mud. He has a mud ball. He jumps in the tub and throws the mud ball. And now your nice clean bathroom is covered in filth, covered in mud. And that is the same thing as you having low vibrations and not having done any of the work to raise your own energy. And you come to the table to the environment that has been cleaned and prayed over but you introduce yourself and you're just a stinky low vibe mess, right? It's the same thing. So raising your vibes is part of it. Saying your prayer and cleansing your environment, asking for protection, that's part of it. They work together symbiotically. You have to have both pieces of the puzzle. The other thing I want to say is that you have to set your intention for who you want to talk to. So many people are like, I got a trickster, so I burned the pendulum, or I buried the pendulum, or I threw it away. Look, this is not an entity. This is not a being. This is a tool. This is like a telephone. You have to pick up the phone. You don't just, hey, how are you doing? You have no idea who you're talking to. You just allow anybody to call you. No, you pick it up and you decide, who do I want to speak to? Then you call that person. And this is your telephone. That's all you have to do. You don't just leave it to chance who comes through this thing. You set your intention. Please connect to my main guide. Or please connect to Archangel Metatron. Please connect to Archangel Michael. Please connect to my... Grandma Jean that had passed. Whatever it is that you want to say or whoever it is that you want to connect to, you connect to that person. Now, the other part of this is sometimes, even when your vibes are high, a trickster can test you. They can try. 
<laughs> they can try to scoot on in there. That happens to me sometimes. I'll be using this and all of a sudden, like if it's swinging like this, and then all of a sudden it starts swinging like this, or they're using different vernacular, they're talking in a different way, they're using weird words you're not used to. It has a whole different tone. You can tell when someone's texting you and it's not really them. If you know the person, you can tell, this doesn't sound like them. You're not seeing their face, you're not hearing their voice, you can just tell, are you sure this is you? Because it doesn't sound like you. So that comes with practice. It comes with taking the time to get to know your guide, get to know Archangel Michael, get to know whatever. See what I'm saying? Looking back in history, because I used to write down everything that came through my pendulum. I have an entire journal. I think it's right there. I have an entire journal where I kept everything that came through my pendulum. And now, I, at the time, I thought it was all legit. Now looking back, years and years later, I can see certain things that I'm like, that wasn't Spomi, that was a trickster. And I, I kind of like cross it out because it's not legit. But back then I didn't know that because I had not taken the time to get to know my guide yet. I wasn't used to the way he talked, to the words he used. I wasn't used to the way his energy and his swing felt. So I didn't know the difference. So if you are brand new to this, it's going to take practice and it's going to take time. So as I say in other videos, take everything with a grain of salt. Don't base anything 100% on the information you're getting until you get to know your guides and you know the difference. I hope that makes sense. So how to get rid of a trickster? Raise your vibes. Cleanse your space. Set the intention of who you want to talk to. Hi, this is Future Editing Veronica, and forgive me for jumping in here, the bad film quality and everything. You're on my webcam, and it's not very bright in here, so the quality's junky. But I just, as I'm editing this, I'm realizing that there were a couple of things that I wanted to say that I didn't and um, that I think are important. So I just wanted to jump in here and throw these in. Number one, if like in the instance I was just talking about where even if your vibes are high and a trickster tries to jump in, you just dismiss them, reconnect to your guide, and keep it moving, okay? Two, you never want to act with fear. This is nothing to be afraid of. Um, it just is what it is. You know, if somebody is spamming your phone, you're getting telemarketers, they want to talk about your car's extended warranty, any of that stuff, you don't freak out and be like, oh my god, they have my phone number, uh, is there energy in my house? You don't freak out about it. It's nothing to be afraid of as long as um, you are living in a way that keeps your vibes high and that you don't have to worry about it. Does that make sense? Um, because number three, what I wanted to say is that the important thing here to remember is that you are, hang on, it's so noisy outside, there's a plane landing. And I'm like 20 miles from the airport, so I'm not sure why it's so loud. Anyways, the important thing to remember here is that you are a sovereign being, you have free will, and there is no person, place, time, energy, being, entity, etc. that has permission to encroach on your energy and your free will without your permission. That includes tricksters. They're not allowed to hang out and haunt your house and bother you. They certainly can hang around if they have permission. But the mistake most people make is that they think, permission has to be you saying the words out loud, I give you permission to be here. And that is not the case. Permission can look like law of attraction is what it is. It is universal law. Therefore, if you have low vibrations and you are resonating on the same vibrational level that they are, 
that's permission. You know what you're getting yourself into, even if you're ignorant on a soul level, you know. You know what you're getting yourself into by having a low vibe, and that equals energetic permission for them to be here. Therefore, if you don't want them to have that permission, you must move. You must move your vibrations. The other thing that kind of gives permission is fear. Um, it's fear and it's obsessing over, I think there's something spooky in here. There's something scary. Is it dangerous? It's going to get me. There's something in my house and just obsessing on that, having those intrusive thoughts, having those hyper obsessive thoughts. That is energetically giving them permission to be here because that's what you are right now. You're talking about this thing. You're all about this thing. You're all in the energy of this thing. Therefore, law of attraction gives permission for it to be there. Are you following me? Are you with me? Okay. So what I like to do and what I've told some of you to do over the years is I just I, I make a little speech. I make a little proclamation, whether it's in my mind or out loud. I just say something to the effect of, I declare my sovereignty, I am a sovereign being, and no person, place, entity, being, energy has my permission to be in my space, in my home, in my energetic realm. They do not have permission, and any permissions given or implied, I revoke. I call all of my energy and power back to me. And I return everyone and everything else's energy and power back to them with light and love. I ask that my energy and power be cleansed and balanced and free of any ties and that it be reintegrated into my being. And that any leftover spaces remaining be filled with light and love. And that Archangel Michael would help me to cut the cords between myself and anyone or anything that is draining me of energy or sending me negativity. And I ask Archangel Michael to please help protect my home. That the angels would help keep guard over myself and my home and not let any low vibrating entities or energies be in my home. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your tips and tricks. Do you have anything that works for you? I want to hear it all in the comments. Let me know. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button. It helps me so much. We are almost at 20,000, you guys. Can you believe it? Probably in the next week or so, I'm going to hit 20,000. And so this is quite the little community that we are building. And it's growing. And we're getting out this beautiful information that helps people to navigate their spiritual awakening and to get in touch with their higher self to live the life of their dreams. It's exciting stuff. We are changing the world, one person at a time. We're changing this world for the better. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Share this video to somebody that you think might be able to use it. I'll talk to you soon. Until next time.